Hi there, thank you so much for joining me for a quick prophetic prose and a look at the glory of God in the heavens. And so, you may know that all of creation speaks of God and His goodness, but all the heavenlies, the sun, moon, and stars, speak the glory of God. And per the fourth day of creation in the book of Genesis, we, as His children, have been invited into the privilege of understanding the times and seasons, days and years, according to the cosmic clock, according to the Maseroth in the book of Job in the Bible. Now, what this means is that if we can understand the science of the celestials and what the Holy Spirit is speaking through the created wonders in the pure lights above, then we will understand God's original love story for us, the Redeemer foretold in the heavenlies, written now on the canon of scripture, and an invitation ever so present for us to invite him into our hearts so that we can walk out our destiny and calling. This is a privilege that we have in understanding what he's speaking in the moment to keep us going through all times and seasons. So I'm really excited that our invitation based on that fourth day of creation to understand the cosmic clock and get in sync with it is such a joy. It's a beautiful invitation of love. And so I'm going to share the prophetic prose from today that will reflect on the other details that I'll share about the sun, moon, and stars. So here's the poem because we are in what this poem is called an interim. Here we go. Take a listen. Interim. From whence we have come, all woes, wounds, warriors, sacrifice, not for naught. Turn the bend and come back to me again for the interim, and then never to leave the place of the garden, peace. In all times and every way, his seed has the power to bear fruit from obedience and leading, shun dictatorial presumptions, the warlocks fall to impotence. They've already bowed to the corruption, and even Satan's promoted self run out of themselves. Question not when evil prospers. Your lands are clearing, and they all shall flee in terror of you. My will-wielding servants are on the scene, and all time has purpose in me. Pristine, the garden of the riches. Fullness means removing the weeds soon. Precarious, bear up one and another, precious in the harvest. These are manifold blooms. Many come from shuddering. Chambers locked and keyed without entry until it's imminent. Present in presence. Dying in the darkness is the start. Be still, brave heart. Resolve, remain waiting, yielding yet more, tree of life known. In dying shall ye live. In me have your being alive in the power of an endless life. Okay, details I was talking to you about. The moon is in the constellation of Aries today on 6 Three, it is on the 26th day of the cycle and it's at 11% illumination. So this, these facts along with the other confluence of, of leadings that I felt and I listened to and I heard and sensed and saw all day leads me to share this with you. I believe the Spirit is reminding us that it is the time to move forward into our lands of promise. Don't look back. That is not where you are going but look ahead for there is much to come. But this is a time for us to get consecrated, to be able to fully rest in his belovedness that he extends to us. We are his beloved. We are his children. And he wants us to accept and welcome that and be able to rest in that state of being, that identity that we are loved so much that he is going to take care of every little single and big thing that can worry us and cast us to distraction and sometimes fall apart because we can't surrender all for him to take care of all things, including us. It's not easy, but it's the most blessed place to be. So this is a time where these lands of promise are ours and we can enter into and fell the giants that are still taunting and threatening that you can't have this. This is mine. No, Father God says through Jesus Christ, these places of destiny and calling are for us and we must claim territory. But first we must understand and refound ourselves on the identity, in the identity that we are so very loved that nothing, no fear, no torment, no 
destructive, destructive measure of people, of man, of demons in the unseen and material world can come against and prevail against us. This is the promise of those, for those who love God as much as he would like and invites us to let him love us. So what I find interesting is that we are given the authority, exousia, the authority and the power to stomp and destroy serpents and everything that stands against the perfect will of love of Father God for this earth, for each and every one of us. But we must walk out in a restful place, fully confident. And this is what is in operation right now. 26, belovedness, 11, Deuteronomy 11, 11, you're walking into the lands where the, the dew of heaven has been, where Father God has kissed these lands and taken care of them. These are the things that he has set aside for his children. And this is what we're invited to. But first, remember, consecrate in this interim as we're waiting for the Holy Spirit to flood us and fill us and overwhelm all things so that it comes into a place of redemption according to Father God's plan and timing. Our invitation is to rest and trust be surrendered be founded upon his love once again do you know who you are he's asking us so he can entrust us with the alignments he's bringing together for in these new lands of destiny and calling are our assignments that we are destined afore time to walk out in the time to come the good works that have been assigned to us that we will enjoy walking out with we're ready are you ready are you constantly waiting to hear from him and walk out in obedience, in a sweet surrender, in all power and authority, because this is what we have as his children. So, I want to remind you that this is a time, the interim that is really precious and really important to understand that he will take care of you if you allow him. So as we enter these lands of promise, as we're asking to see it again, do it again, Father God, the power and the authority, the sweetness of the Holy Spirit to come flood us and change everything in us and around us in his redemptive plan, then I will unleash this prayer over you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for all heavenly forces of Father God to come through each and every one through this technology to empower you to rise up as the heroes, but first rest. Understand how loved you are, how beloved you are, and how much he has for you, but wait. Because he is sending hornets before you, the heavenly forces, the winged ones, to fell the giants that you can't yourself, because this is the right of a, a child to rely on a father who never fails, who has all of the force and all the power, all the knowing, and every minute of every time and every place, he's going to bring everything into a goodness for you, because you are loved, loved, loved. You are so very loved. So I thank you for listening. I speak and I decree this in the full authority and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, for he is the King of Kings of all time, and he is mine, and I release his love onto you. So I thank you for listening. I'm Jane Justice Park, and I pray that you feel the fullness of the peace that is yours to live, because in this time, this interim, before the Holy Spirit comes again into greater fullness and measure so that we can walk out in our callings in peace, joy, love, and a sweetness that can't be without a Father who backs us up. This is what I wish for you that you can have, that I look forward to getting to hear reports of as you see every resistance of goodness fall because Father God and Jesus Christ is the Lord of hosts and the Holy Spirit is your advocate and the one who will counsel you to all might and give you the wisdom to move forward when it's time. So I declare all things come into the perfection of time in your life and these things I speak over you with joy in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll see you next time. I believe I already said it, but I'm Jane Justice Park and it's a joy to be with you. Bye-bye.